In today's video, I want to take a moment and talk to you guys about the symptoms and the stages of nicotine poisoning and nicotine overdose. As someone who struggled for several years with nicotine addiction to chewing tobacco products, nicotine salt products, Nicorette gum products, uh, which is pharmaceutical grade nicotine, and then of course, vape products, I think this is something that's happening a lot more frequently than we realize. And it's something that's probably going grossly overlooked day to day. And looking into the literature on this topic of nicotine poisoning, I think it's scary because I spent a lot of time in and out of doctor's offices with a whole host of these kind of strange symptoms, looking for answers, trying to figure out what was wrong with me, uh, only to come up with nothing. My blood work would come back pretty good most of the time and no one would have answers. And with the rise in products like Zin and disposable vapes, which are predominantly nicotine salts, which absorb into your system faster and then exit your system at a faster rate than say freebase nicotine, which you find in traditional tobacco products, what it does is it leads to an increased tolerance and a more frequent use of the product like Zin or on pouches or disposable vape because your body is entering a state of withdrawal at a much faster rate due to the increased absorption and the increased excretion of these nicotine salt products. And listen, it's not uncommon that we'll have someone who's vaping a disposable, uh, consuming nicotine salt pouches or Nicorette gum all day long. And I have a feeling that a lot of the weird symptoms that they might be experiencing are actually the result of nicotine poisoning and I don't know how in tune with a lot, uh, physicians are with, with this. So nicotine poisoning typically happens in two stages. Uh, symptoms uh, of the first stage typically occur with a pretty rapid onset and they can last for up to 24 hours. They include feeling queasy or throwing up, stomach ache, mouth watering, quick and heavy breathing, uh, increased heart rate, increased blood pressure, pale skin, headache, dizziness, feeling off balanced or feeling confused. And you know, the interesting thing that I see here is when I would consume large quantities of nicotine, I know with certainty my blood pressure would spike. I know my heart rate would become irregular, but the pale skin is something that I'm really in tune with. I see that today in a lot of our younger clients that we're trying to work with to help them quit vaping. And a lot of times before our sessions, they'll get nervous and they'll like chief a bunch of nicotine down and they will look deathly pale. And I remember a point in my own life when I was laying on my couch after consuming a bunch of nicotine and I looked terrible. And my mom was like, your skin is steel gray. Like what is wrong with you? And I was so fatigued, I was so drained. I was like, I don't know, but I, I feel like I'm dying. And I just never would have thought that it could have been, all these symptoms could have been tied back to nicotine in, in retrospect. I think this is especially dangerous today because we have so many proponents of these nicotine products, especially Zen. It's a very popular product online on TikTok, on YouTube shorts. We have uh, Tucker Carlson himself, who's been on like a promotional campaign about the benefits that he's received from using products like Zen. And I think it's unfortunate because the amount of like younger men in particular and females that I interact with where these products are just wreaking havoc on them psychologically and physically is, is devastating. I have a feeling, and I'm not one to judge, but I have a feeling a few years from now, I think he's gonna eat his words on his uh, cross, across the board promotion of this product of uh, essentially, you know, Big Tobacco. I understand it's not a tobacco product, but remember, Big Tobacco does now own uh, Zen. It used to be Swedish Match, but it got sold off. So stage two of uh, nicotine poisoning, which can last up to 30 minutes to four hours, uh, diarrhea, shallow breathing, decreased heart rate, decreased blood pressure, lethargy, feeling weak, slowed reflexes, and an inability to control muscles, and potentially even seizures. I keep seeing seizures pop up again and again, and I've worked with clients before who have asked me, can nicotine cause a seizure? And I've always said, I don't know. But looking at the symptoms of nicotine poisoning and nicotine overdose, it seems pretty straightforward that seizure is a possibility. And it makes sense when you think about it, because the, the nicotine is a central nervous system stimulant. 
it stimulates your noradrenaline and your norepinephrine pathways. And that's why it gives you that increased focus and that burst of energy temporarily. But gosh, if you're combining that with other substances like high caffeine intake, energy drinks, pre-workout products, I think you're at a particularly high risk for developing a neurological issue, perhaps even like a seizure. And it makes a lot of sense that you would feel weak or have slowed down reflexes. Or I had like uncontrollable muscle twitching, like in my eyes, in my arms, in my legs. And it makes sense because nicotine is impacting your central nervous system on a pretty powerful level. And then it's also impacting those levels of dopamine, which play a role in muscular coordination and, and movement. And I, you know, so what would like predispose someone to this? And this is where it gets really fascinating to me. Swallowing any type of tobacco or nicotine product would put you at a particularly high risk. And you take products like Snus or like um, Zin, and the user is encouraged to swallow their saliva, unlike a traditional chewing tobacco. So I'm sure the risk for nicotine poisoning is significantly increased. Now, I know for a fact I felt this on vape products with the e-liquids. Like, I know with certainty if I'd be consuming a vape and I'd get like a splash of e-liquid in my mouth and I'd just like swallow it, I know for a fact I would get the numbness and tingling in my extremities and just like a, a bunch of weird physical symptoms going on. And it would usually last for a while. Like, I would have to go to bed and I'd say like, okay, I'm just going to sleep this off. And I'd wake up feeling better, and then I would just go back to consuming more and more nicotine. Um, you know, I think this is especially scary, too, for those of you guys. I have a young kid now. If you have kids at home and they get their hands on some of these products, I can only imagine what something like this would do to a toddler or to a younger person, let alone, you know, they're watching mom or dad smoke cigarettes or chew tobacco all day long. You know, monkey see, monkey do. Um, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm glad to be away from it for that reason now that I got a, a little baby boy at home because he's watching everything I do, right? So I just want to make this video quick. This is kind of a casual video. It's not meant to be fear-mongering. I have tons of videos, though, on my channel helping people quit. We have our new product, Kick It Crave Less Chewing Gum which contains N-acetylcysteine and KSM-66 ashwagandha. This is to help curb cravings, among a bunch of other things. Check this out if you need help quitting. Reach out to our offices. If this is something you're struggling with, we offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. We have our free support community. I know quitting can be hard, but I, I think we're going to see a trend towards quitting very, very rapidly. And I think Tucker Carlson is going to eat his words on his across the board promotion of Zen products because I, I don't know, I, I don't think this ends well for a, a lot of people. So I hope this video gets across to you. I hope it makes you think about some things and, and if you need help quitting, follow me into my playlist on quitting nicotine. It's a, a great playlist.